Hi everyone, it's Trishna, and welcome to another channeled message here at the Spiritual Activation Academy. Today we're going to be doing a channel transmission regarding the 1212 portal or the December 12th portal and any messages or themes that want to be explored by us starting 1212 and going for about 30 days thereafter. So what's wanting to come through for us from our guides and our higher selves collectively is the topic is love <clears throat> and self-love. And what I'm feeling in the energy is a lot of questions. And a lot of times when we have a lot of questions, that means that we are coming from a place of a lot of confusion. When we're confused, we have a million questions. When we're not confused and we have clarity, we have all of the answers. So there's a lot of questions that are wanting to come up regarding our self-worth. Why am I the way that I am? Why are certain areas of my life stuck? Why haven't they really progressed over the past several years? Why has it seemed like I was moving forward, let's say with regards to love itself, having a partner in my life, only for those relationships to end, new ones to begin, those ones to end, and ultimately, years later, I'm still in the same position that I was when I started this journey many years ago. And what about me is inadequate? What about me needs to be fixed, needs to be changed? These are the kinds of questions that I'm feeling in the collective. And these kinds of questions make sense, especially during this time of year, when we are reflecting back on what's happened over the past year, or maybe the past few years, and maybe we don't feel really happy about the way things have gone, the way that we measure up, the way that we stack, against, stack ourselves against who we thought we were going to be by now. But one of the things that Spirit really wants to share is it's okay to reflect, but if you're going to reflect, make sure that you're keeping all aspects in mind. Because our minds have a tendency to focus on the things that didn't go well, on the things that didn't really work out for us. And sometimes it's just one thing or one area of life when many other areas of our lives have worked out and have gone well. And so we may be giving attention, too much attention, to the thing that didn't work out and not enough attention to the many things that did. Likely over the past year, you probably went through quite the spiritual journey. <laughs> um, maybe you tried out different techniques. Maybe things were working for a little while and then they didn't. And then you fell into another method and then that worked for a little while and then it didn't. And chances are, no matter how many iterations you went through, whether it is spiritual connection or love or career, that you've started to settle into something that feels more real and solid for you. And Spirit asks that you love yourself enough to trust that the journey was worth it and to trust that you are in the right place right now. And to trust in them as well. Because sometimes they do have to shake things up. They do have to create some difficulty so we'll move to a position that is more stable for ourselves. Because maybe we were walking on a bridge or up a ladder that had some broken rungs if we we're going to keep going. And we needed to come down, choose a different ladder that's sturdier and that's actually going to take us to the top. So as you are kind of working with this portal, it's okay to ask these kinds of questions, even though they are coming from a place of feeling inadequate. And just remember that whenever we ask questions, if we ask from a place of inadequacy, non-enoughness, that we'll get answers. But those answers are not going to necessarily make us feel good because we're asking from a place of not really feeling that good. But despite that, there is always guidance to be found anywhere that you look. So if you ask from this place of sadness, you may get an answer that doesn't really please you completely, but there will still be a gem of wisdom. And it's important that you understand that package that it's going to come into. Because when you receive that guidance, Keep that in mind. I'm, from, I'm asking from a sad place. So the guidance that I'm getting is not going to be necessarily roses, butterflies, peaches, and bunnies. <laughs> and that's okay. When you know that, you can understand the reason why it's not rosy is only because I'm asking from this sad place. If I were asking from a happier place, I would get an answer that is rosier. And because I know where I am at when I'm asking this, I don't have to feel worse when I get that sad answer. I have context for why that answer is sad or sadder than I would like it to be. So now you can separate 
the feeling that you're getting when you receive that guidance from the actual guidance that is that gem within that casing of maybe a Saturn message than you would like. And when you can take off those layers and focus on that gem, that's when you can elevate your energy. That's when you can pull yourself out because you're focused on the wisdom and not so much on the rest of that message. This is kind of what it means sometimes to take what serves, take what resonates, and leave the rest. <laughs> so we're taking the part that's really going to serve you, which is the wisdom, and we're letting go of the rest. And that is kind of the overall message that Spirit wants to share with you as well for this 1212 portal, which is take what resonates when you hear from us and leave the rest. Have enough compassion for yourself to be able to leave the rest, to be able to focus on what really matters and honor that and not get caught up in the confusion of the rest of the guidance. So they're saying understand how we communicate with you, understand why you get certain answers sometimes. It's really based off of what you're able to accept in that moment, what you're resonating at in that moment, but the gems of wisdom are always there. Now, when you follow those gems of wisdom, you will get elevated out of that energy. But understand that sometimes it's hard to follow the gems of wisdom because in order to elevate ourselves, we have to do something different than what we're doing right now. And so that guidance that we get might feel like a stretch. It might feel like something we don't really want to do. But as long as it is not something that creates fear, that terrifies you, or that feels like a really bad idea, Take a leap of faith, step out of your comfort zone. Try that little stretch and see how you grow from that. And sometimes it can take a little while for us to be pulled out, even when we work with the guidance, and that's okay. All of that time is important. If it takes you three months to really get back, get your mojo back, know that every one of those days between now and that three months when you get it back was crucial, pivotal, and important. Because we live in a society and in a world and in a time where we want that instant gratification. And I am no exception to that. <laughs> but I do also understand, and what Spirit wants to share, is the instant gratification, it gives you that high, it gives you what you're looking for. But as quickly as it comes in, that's as, exactly as fast as it leaves. When something takes a little bit longer, and really like, takes longer, it requires you to really build yourself up. It requires you to really work each day towards pulling yourself out of something. And when you have to put in that level of effort, that's going to be an end result that lasts. So you can look at three months, you can look at timelines as, well, I want it now. Or you can look at it as the strength, blessing, and gift that it can be and often is, which is lasting results. So Spirit says love yourself and honor yourself enough to focus on what matters, to put in the time, and to want long-lasting results. And to be able to focus so much on the guidance that you receive from your own guides that you can shield away from everything that you see in the external. So what's coming through is sometimes we look at social media and we might see somebody else that's doing really well, they're on top of the world, everything's working out for them, everything's falling in place. And we look at ourselves and say, I want that though, I want to go faster. And Spirit says, it's okay to look at those things because they inspire us and they let us know what's to come for us, but don't get so attached to it that it makes you feel bad and you ignore our guidance and our timeline for you. Because things do happen in really beautiful ways and really beautiful sinks and timelines. And it's really hard to appreciate when you're not there yet. But once it happens and you look back, it can be really mind-blowing just how, how beautifully everything worked out. So, as you work with 1212 portal energies, which a lot of times people like to use for manifestation, manifest things regarding self-love, honoring divine timing and honoring yourself and your path. Because if you do that, you will be aligning to the message of your soul and manifesting in accordance to what your soul wants to teach you and how they want to grow with you going forward. 
And when we align our intentions and our desires with what our soul is asking of us, things move smoother, things do happen faster, and things do become significantly more magical along the way because we're in flow with our soul and not just creating uh, desires from our mind. There is a congruence, there is a connection, there is an alignment, there is an integration. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much for listening. And if you're interested in connecting with your own guides and being able to receive these gems of wisdom, no matter what point in life you're at, whether it's a high or a low, even if you have doubts and hangups about whether you're actually connecting to your guides, then I invite you to join my Building Trust with Your Spirit Guides course. You can find it at my website, www.spiritualactivationacademy.com. And the links are in the description box below. And I'll see you there. And I'll see you in the next video too.